In this video, we're going to start the CUDA software Infinite Algebra 1 free worksheet Multiplying Radical Expressions. Our directions for this worksheet are to simplify. Now, remember when multiplying radicals, you multiply what's within the radical together and what's outside the radical together, and then simplify. So for number 1, I'm going to multiply what's inside of that radical together. So the 12 and 6. So I'll rewrite this as 3 times the square root of 12 times 6. So that's 3 times the square root of 12 times 6, which is 72. Now I'm going to find the largest perfect square that fits into 72, so I can pull that out and multiply it by my 3. Looking at 72, I know the largest perfect square is 36. 36 times 2 equals 72. So I can write 36 as 6 squared, and then multiplying that by 2 gives me 72. So I'll have 3 times the square root of 6 squared, times 2, then I'll be able to pull out that 6 because I'll have 3 times the square root of 6 squared times the square root of 2, so splitting my radical back up, and then pulling out that 6 because the square root of 6 squared is 6. So I'll get 3 times 6 times the square root of 2, and 3 times 6 is 18. So my final solution in number 1 is 18 times the square root of 2. Let's continue on to number 2. In number 2, I have the square root of 5 times the square root of 10. So I'll write this as the square root of 5 times 10, because they're both within a radical, therefore I can multiply them together within a common radical, or within the same radical. So I'll have the square root of 50, since 5 times 10 is 50, and then I can simplify the square root of 50, because the largest perfect square that goes into 50 is 25, and that's 25 times 2, and 25 we know is 5 squared. So 5 squared times 2 equals 50. So I'll rewrite this as the square root of 5 squared times 2, and I'll be able to pull out that 5, but since this is still earlier on in the problems, I'll break it down, showing you how I can pull out that 5. So I'll split up my radical as the square root of 5 squared times the square root of 2. And you can see that that square root will cancel out that exponent of 2, so I'll be left with 5 on the outside of my radical, so a whole number 5 times the square root of 2. That's my solution in number 2. In number 3, I have the square root of 6 times the square root of 6, so I'll write this as the square root of 6 times 6, but 6 times 6 we know is 36, or we could just write 6 times 6, as 6 squared, and the square root of 6 squared is a positive whole number 6. So 6 is my solution in number 3. In number 4, I'll multiply the square root of 5 by the square root of 20, and then by negative 4. So I'll have negative 4 times the square root of 5 times 20. Because they're both within a radical, I can multiply them within the same radical. So we'll have negative 4 times the square root of 5 times 20 is 100. And because 100 is a perfect square, I can simply take the square root of 100 and get a positive 10. So negative 4 times 10 will give me negative 40 for number 4. And again, that's because 100 is 10 squared. And when I take the square root of 10 squared, I get a positive 10. And number 5, I have negative 4 times the square root of 15 times negative square root of 3. We can think this negative as negative 1 times the square root of 3. So we're going to multiply negative 4 by negative 1, taking care of my whole numbers, and then that will get multiplied by the square root of 15 times 3, multiplying what's in my radicals within the same radical. Negative 4 times negative 1 is a positive 4. So I'll have 4 times the square root of 15 times 3 is 45. Now 45, I know that the largest perfect square is 9. 9 times 5 is 45. So 9 is the largest perfect square that's a multiple of 45. So I'll rewrite 9 as 3 squared times 5. So I'll have 4 times the square root of 3 squared times 5. And I'll be able to pull out that 3 to get 4 times 3 times the square root of 5, and 4 times 3 we know is 12. So 12 times the square root of 5 
is my solution in number 5. And again, that's because that square root cancels out this exponent of 2, so I can pull out my base of 3. 4 times 3 is 12, and then I'll have 12 times the square root of 5 as my solution. Moving on to number 6, I'll multiply 20x squared by 20x within the same radical. So I'll have 20x squared times 20x. So I'll multiply my 20s together. 20 times 20 will be 20 squared, but I'm going to leave my x separate because I already have x with an exponent of 2. So if I write the square root of 20 squared times x squared times x, I'll be able to pull out my base of 20 and I'll be able to pull out my base of x. If we were to multiply x squared by x, we would get x to the third and then we need to split them back up in order to simplify. But pulling out a 20 and an x, I'll get 20x times the square root of x as my solution in number 6. And again, that's because 20 times 20 is 20 squared, and x squared, when I take the square root of both of those, I'll be able to pull out the bases, and then I'll still have the square root of x. In number 7, I'll have the square root of 15 in squared times 10 in cubed. So I'll multiply 15 by 10 to get 150, and then I'll have in squared times in cubed. However, I'm going to rewrite in cubed as in squared times in, because in to the 2 times in to the 1 is in to the 2 plus 1, which equals in to the 3rd. So doing that will allow me to pull out a base of n and another base of n. So I'll have n times n times the square root of 150 n. n times n is n squared, and I'm going to rewrite 150 using the largest perfect square that's a multiple of 150, which is 25. 25 times 6 equals 150, so I'll rewrite 25 as 5 squared times 6. So now I'll have n squared times the square root of 5 squared times 6 times n. And my last step will be to pull out this 5 because it has an exponent of 2. So I'll get 5 times n squared times the square root of 6n as my final solution in number 7. Just as a reminder, there's multiple different ways to multiply radicals and simplify. I could have started by pulling out this n squared and then pulled out another n squared in this other radical to start. I also could have combined n cubed and n squared together to get n to the fifth and then wrote that as n to the fourth times n within the square root. Then I would have been able to pull out n squared if I rewrote n to the fourth as n squared squared. As opposed to pulling out n in two different steps, I could have done it in one step. So that just goes to show you that there's many ways to simplify and solve. And number eight, because my a values have exponents of two in each square root, I'm going to pull them out at the start. So I'll have a times the square root of 18 times 4a times the square root of 3. So I pulled out both a's within the radicals. Now I'll multiply these together. So I'll have a times 4a times the square root of 18 times 3. a times 4a is 4a squared, and I'll be multiplying that by the square root of 18 times 3, which 18 times 3 is 54. Now I'll rewrite 54 in terms of a perfect square. 9 times 6 equals 54. So I'll write this as 3 squared times 6. And I know that 9 is the largest perfect square because no other perfect square fits into 6. So I'll have 4a squared times the square root of 3 squared times 6. And then pulling out that 3, because it has an exponent of 2, I'll get 3 times 4a squared times the square root of 6, which equals 12a squared times the square root of 6, because 3 times 4 is 12, so we have 12a squared times the square root of 6 as our solution in number 8. In number 9, I'll go ahead and multiply the whole numbers together and then multiply my quantities within the radical. So I'll rewrite this as negative 3 times 6 times the square root of 7r cubed times 7r squared. 
Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18, and that'll be multiplied to the square root of 7 squared, because 7 times 7 is 7 squared, and then times r cubed times r squared will be r to the fifth. Right away, I can pull out a 7, because 7 times 7 is 7 squared, I'll pull out that base of 7. So I'll have negative 18 times 7 times the square root of r to the fifth. However, r to the fifth, I'm going to rewrite as r to the fourth times r to the first, or simply r. Negative 18 times 7 will give me negative 126. And I rewrote r to the fifth as r to the fourth times r, because now I can write r to the fourth, remembering my law of exponents, as r squared squared. So I can write it in terms of an exponent of 2, and that still gets multiplied by r. But because r squared is squared, I'll pull out the entire base r squared. That will give me negative 126 r squared times the square root of r as my solution in number 9. And lastly in this video, I'll go over number 10. If you haven't done so already, here's a friendly reminder to click that like button and subscribe to my channel. Now for number 10, I'll rewrite this as negative 4 times the square root of 28 times 7 times x times x cubed. So I multiply my quantities within the radical together within the same radical, grouping them together, putting 28 with 7 and then my x terms together. Now simplifying, I'll get negative 4 times the square root of 28 times 7, which is 196, and x times x cubed is x to the fourth. Now 196 is a perfect square. The square root of 196 is a positive whole number 14. That's because 196 equals 14 squared. So when I take the square root of that, I'll get 14. So I'll have negative 4 times 14 times the square root of x to the fourth. However, I'll write x to the fourth as x squared squared. Because remembering the law of exponents, an exponent raised to another power, they get multiplied together, so x squared squared is the same as x to the two times two, which is x to the fourth. But writing it this way allows me to pull out that base x squared because my square root will cancel out that exponent of two. So negative 4 times 14 equals negative 56, and I'm pulling out that x squared, so negative 56 times x squared is my final solution in this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Also, continue on to the next video where I'll go over the next 10 problems on this worksheet, completing numbers 11 through 20. As always, like, subscribe, and share.